So I'll tell you a little bit about the tilt-up process. We start with the board floor, permanent floor that uh, we'll build on later, the interior walls uh, for that floor. And, and on that floor, we form the walls. It will be the uh, exterior walls for the project. Concrete uh, 8 inch and 12 inch walls. Uh, concrete walls that have two layers of steel in it. And then it's got a uh, brick form liner in it that uh, has the appearance of a brick exterior wall when we're finished. That brick is done face down on the slab. It goes into a liner panel that keeps all the brick consistent with what a normal brick mod would be. You get that all finished, put the two layers of uh, rebar in two different levels. Basically pour the uh, panels full of concrete, uh, which is a one day process. Uh, at that point, we, it takes three or four days to cure until we get up to strength. Uh, once we know we have the strength we need, uh, bring the crane in and a crew of uh, half a dozen uh, iron workers and carpenters and we uh, lift the panels and put them in place. We, we pretty much enclose the buildings with the exterior walls with the brick, on, brick in place in two days. Uh, so if somebody took a vacation on Monday and was off, uh, was off Saturday and Monday, they came to a building that uh, had complete walls in two days. You know, the, the interesting thing here is the, is the time period uh, between having a uh, floor, having nothing but a concrete floor out there, until you have a building that is potentially enclosed, and that's about a nine-week period. Uh, to me, that's, uh, that's a pretty amazing thing that I don't think you can do with another type of construction.